It has been six months since a shooting in Fond du Lac that killed a police officer there. Now records from the Department of Justice are providing another look into what happened. Good evening, everyone. The department today handed over nearly a thousand pages of documents about that March 20th shooting. Fox 11 filed an open records request to get a copy of the report. It includes photos, videos, and audio recordings from that day. Fond du Lac police officer Craig Burkholz was killed in that shooting. Officer Ryan Williams and his police dog were wounded. Authorities say the gunman, James Cruxon, killed himself. And last month, the Fond du Lac County district attorney ruled that officers did use the appropriate force to defend themselves. Fox 11's Lindsay Veramus brings us new details now from the report. As Fond du Lac officers battled a gunman, frantic calls poured in to 911. I believe I'm hearing gunshots. Yes, stay in your house, stay away from windows. I'm, a, I'm on division in Lincoln. You need to stay in your residence. We have an incident going on on Lincoln. Just stay in your residence. The recordings are part of more than 1,000 pages of investigative documents, photos, and video released to Fox 11 by the Department of Criminal Investigation. Some information has been removed to protect the victims. Officer Ryan Williams, James Cruxon's former girlfriend, and Officer Craig Burkholz. Dashcam video shows Burkholz racing to the scene. Other officers were already there, including Williams. Bullets were flying. The video goes black when Burkholz leaves the car. DCI removed the video because it captures Burkholz's death. According to the autopsy report, Burkholz was shot twice. Video from DCI is giving us a first look inside the duplex where it all began. This is a look at the second floor where police say Cruxon fired nearly 50 rounds through a window. Hundreds of pages of interviews confirm Cruxon was driven by a crumbling relationship. He spoke with a negotiator 10 times during the standoff. The report describes Cruxon as having flat emotions. The detective said Cruxon never yelled. During the conversations, admitted killing an officer and raping his former girlfriend. However, in audio previously released by Fond du Lac authorities, Cruxon blamed her for everything. You lied. That's why right, those cops got killed, so pretty much you killed them cops. Photos show the aftermath of Cruxon's attack. Williams' vest pierced in several places, squad cars riddled with bullets, and a community and department forever changed. Lindsay Veramis, Fox 11 News. And that report, like the Fond du Lac District Attorney, also concluded that the officers acted appropriately on that day to protect the community.